<clears throat> Our next caller is Andrew from Georgia. What's up, Andrew? Hey, how's it going? Good. What's going on? Good. So um, I've been a trainer for just under a year, and uh, I started chiropractic school about six months ago. So since I started school, I haven't been able to work out as much as I did before. And I'm just sitting in class a lot, studying most of the day. So I've been putting on some extra body fat. Um, and about two months ago, I reduced my calories, cut out a lot of the junk food I could eat. Um, and I've been doing about two to three full body workouts a week. But I'm still seeing the fat um, come on. So... I was just wondering what we, you guys would recommend for uh, changing training style or frequency or just focus more on nutrition. Okay. What they, one of our programs are you following? Uh, none. Well, that is your first problem. Yeah. <laughs> Big mistake, <laughs> sir. That's your first, your first problem right yeah, there. I would, go, <laughs> I would go MAPS Anabolic. Uh, there's a dumbbell-only version in there, so follow that. But honestly, the, the thing you can do that will have the biggest impact is your nutrition. That's like adjust your nutrition rather than trying to burn more calories or add workouts to make up the difference. And oftentimes people are like, oh, I, you know, I reduced my calories, but they don't really, they're not tracking or they don't realize how much they reduced them. That'll have the biggest impact. There's, I mean, cutting your calories appropriately will do more to get you lean than adding additional workouts at this point. Uh, uh, another suggestion. So this is actually uh, close to home for me right now. In fact, uh, Katrina and I were talking about this last night. Um, she was like, Adam, you're fat still. Yeah. 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 So I've been, uh, I've been intentionally trying to lean out. So I've, I've tightened my diet up really well. I'm, I'm consistently training about three, four times a week. Um, but I cannot, I cannot get over how sedentary uh, I've become over this last year. And I think that was... A lot of where, what the job is 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 changed to. I have a, a commute now. Uh, I sit at home a lot, um, and I just I, I'm not getting the regular activity that I was. And so, even though my diet is cleaned up and and, and looks ideal as far as the balance, and I'm not over consuming, I'm still not eating in a deficit enough for my body to really lean out. But then I'm also in this crazy predicament of, wow, well, I'm not eating very many calories. If I reduce my calories much more, then I'm also going to have to, I'll be missing my protein target and I want to maintain my mass. So it's become very important for me to make sure I get out and get like an hour to two hours of walking throughout the day. And so, you know, that is a must for me. Otherwise, uh, I'm not moving enough to really drop and lean, and I'd have to reduce my calories to a number that I don't like. Like I don't like being in the low two thousands for a guy my size. I should be consuming a lot more calories than that. So, I've just opted to make sure that I get out and get that hour to two hours of walking every day. So that may be a suggestion, depending on where your calories are. So, uh, I would I would want more detail if which way I would drive you. I mean, you could potentially I don't know. You could be eating thirty five hundred calories, and I'd say, well then. Andrew, let's just reduce your calories by 500 calories, and I bet you start to lean out. But if you are like me in the mid 2000s, uh, which isn't very high for me as it is, and I'm and I'm training and I want to lean out, I don't want to go down to 2000. So instead, I'll, I'll pick up more activity. So where where would you say you are? I I know a couple of years ago my maintenance was around 3000, um, and I dropped I think I'm around like 2,700 right now because I didn't want to drop too much because I've got that hard gainer type of body. So I was worried about just um, losing muscle because I'm not eating enough. But um, yeah, right now I'm probably around 25 to 2,700. So very similar what, predicament as me. Yeah. What does your uh, macro ratio look like? Um, like one to one for protein uh, and, and body weight. So I'm trying to get around 200 grams of protein and then like 20 percent fats the rest carbs yeah how tall are you and how much do you weigh you said 200. six four around 200 oh my god okay. you're exactly me okay you're li you're literally your body your, i am your, you your, yeah your body type <laughs> your 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 current calories and your current problem is the same as mine right yeah. like literally right now I'm, so the answer for myself that i'm doing is just that I don't want to I don't want to cut any more calories than where where you're currently at or where I'm at, 
And so, and I know that I'm just sedentary. And so I don't know if you look back just like a week or two, you, you'll see on some of the old episodes, well, just recent episodes, I'm wearing my Fitbit again. I was doing that for the last two weeks because I wanted to get an idea of where I was. I don't know if you use tools like this. This is where I find this extremely valuable. And I'll look at it and go, oh, wow, it looks like for the last two weeks, I'm averaging you know, 3,500 to 6,000 steps a day on average. So then right away, I know, okay, well, my new goal is I just got to at least get 10,000 every day. Some days that only requires a half hour walk. Some days it requires an hour and a half walk. So uh, I think that's a really good place for you to start uh, mm -hmm. if you want to see yourself leaning out without having to significantly reduce calories. Gotcha. Yeah. And your weight training, like, so you do what, two to three times a week and is it total body, full body workouts? Like, what does that look like? Yeah. Full body workouts, just dumbbells at home. Um, and since most of my classes are just online, so sometimes I split up my workouts, do a little bit in the morning, finish in the afternoon. Yeah. So, I mean, in terms of muscle preservation, uh, like really focusing on your strength training and keeping that going with, uh, well, we always suggest our best program for that is MAPS Anabolic. Uh, and that's something that I would definitely suggest in, in terms of like also, uh, you know, adjusting your, your calories, making sure like the nutrition part is solid because that's really what's going to control most of the body composition, but to preserve muscle, uh, you know, to stay, to stay in that strength training phase would be ideal. Yeah. All right, Andrew, we're going to send you MAPS Anabolic if you don't have it. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. No problem, man. Thanks for calling. You know, something that's, that a lot of people don't realize is the type of volume and training that requires you to build muscle is not at all the same kind of training of volume that is required to keep muscle. Mm -hmm. You can get away with way less training to maintain your physique that's than you did. Yeah. So well, if you're like pushing your body and you're building muscle and building strength and then you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so busy because of work or school or you know other circumstances, and you back off on it. I mean, you could literally cut your volume down by half, and you'll probably m lose minimal uh, strength and muscle. I mean, keeping muscle is a lot easier than building it. He's literally in the exact same position. He's I not as big as you, though, right? He's only 200 pounds. You're, yeah, you're so like he's, 200 yeah, he's, a, he's a little leaner. So he's a hard gainer, mm -hmm. so sure. for sure, it sounds like. I mean, if you're at 200 pounds, 6'4", so I'm obviously I'm more like 230 and 6'3", six, six, so mm -hmm. I'm thicker. More, more. So he's probably concerned about reducing calories just like I was. You reduce calories on a guy like that. And he's going to drop down below his protein intake for his muscle. He doesn't want to lose that. So I just was literally having this conversation with Katrina. And I was like, man, I am normally would be leaning out. based off, I know what I'm eating. I know where my, my maintenance normally is, but it's just I'm not moving Yeah, being enough. sedentary, that's the hardest thing it's to, a, it's a motherfucker. <laughs> to deal with. Right? And people don't you, don't, you don't calculate it like this. You don't think about, you know, we, in your head, if you, if you do a hard training session, let's say four or five times a week. You're like, I'm active. I'm active. Yeah, you you nice. think that way. But what you don't realize is that one hour of hard training may burn 400, carry you so far. 400 calories or so. Well, it doesn't matter because in 10 hours a day you're sitting. Well, my, where I'm getting at here is, you know, 6,000 steps of walking in the day, okay, which is probably a good hour and a half to two hours of walking, ends up being more calories burned in just that. So you're you you don't really compute that or realize that when you're when you're training you automatically right. just assume you're an active person you just have to be extra uh, conscious of any opportunity to get up move around that's right and that's really got to be it